Good morning, welcome back to Planet Kids TV with me, your host Claire. I'm so pleased that you guys could all join with me today. First things first, we're going to go and see what Tim's got planned for us in the games room. Hello, it's Sunday morning, it's games time, and I'm wearing a funny hat. Welcome to the games corner. Hello, and indeed hello, many happy returns. Uh, we've got a very interesting episode of the Games Corner lined up for you today, because Tom and I are going back in time, in the time machine, to the 1920s. It should be an awful lot of fun. The 1920s is my favourite time period to visit in the time machine, and Tom's not been before, so I thought I'd show him. We've got two games for you once we get there. Uh, the first game is called Tom Waves, and that's a little bit like Simon Says. But instead of Simon, it's Tom, and instead of saying, he will wave. So if he waves at you, and then does an action, like hopping, you have to do the action as well. But if he doesn't wave at you, and just does an action, so say he's doing star jumps or something, don't do the action. Got it? Good. It's nice, it's nice and simple. Fairly straightforward. Uh, the other game I'm going to go and set up once we get there is uh, it's called Kim's Game. So there's going to be a series of objects, and you've got to try and guess which one's gone missing, basically. It's, it's like a memory game. It's fairly self-explanatory, but it should be good fun. But now we've got to get going, because uh, we're running out of time. Tom! Tom, hurry up! We're going to be late! I'm on the way!
enjoy playing those games there. Now, today we're going to think about who we worship. Now, I can tell you that I worship a living God. How about you? Well, the people in our story today came from a town called Lystra. And in Lystra, they worshipped gods called Zeus and Hermes. And they had special temples for them. They believed that Zeus and Hermes would protect them, that were in charge of the whole world. But let me show you a picture of them. We've got Zeus, we've got Hermes. They're just made out of stone. Do you think that something made out of stone that was actually carved into by a human could really protect them? Could really save them? Now let's go and see what happened in our story in Lystra today. We are here to tell you about the one true living God. It is only through him that you can have everlasting life. I can see that you are not able to walk. Do you have a problem with your foot? Yes. But you, are, but you have faith to be healed, so get up and be well. Wow, this must be the gods of Zeus and Hermes, who have come to us in human form and have healed this man. We must worship them. Quick, go and prepare the sacrifices. No, stop! We are not gods. Do not worship us. We are only humans like you. Instead, you should worship the living God. This man was not healed by our power, but by the power of Jesus. So the people in our story today, the people from Lystra, wanted to worship Paul and Barnabas. They thought that they were the gods of Zeus and Hermes come down looking like a human. No, that's not who they were. They're servants of a living God. And that man was only healed through the name of Jesus. Now he's someone that we can worship. We can bow down, we can adore, we can give our lives to Jesus. And why is that? Because he's a living God. He's not made out of stone. He's not just something that we made up in our imagination. But he's a living God. And he has got the power to heal. And he's got the power to protect us. And he's got the power to go before us. He is worthy of all of our worship. I'm choosing to worship the living God. I am choosing to worship Jesus. I'm choosing to worship Jesus. I worship another living God. We're choosing to worship Jesus. Choosing to worship Jesus. We worship the living God. I am choosing to worship Jesus. The living God. Jesus. 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 you guys are worshipping a true and living God. That's a great choice. <laughs> and we're going to all join together now doing some worship. We're going to worship by telling God at the top of our lungs how awesome he is. We're going to sing hallelujah, praising God because he is the living God. He is the one who is worthy of praise. And we're going to ask Jesus to make our hearts fall more in love with him. That we would know more and more each day that he is the true, he is the living God. And he is worthy of our worship. So Poppy, can you just remind us, what is worship? Worship is God loving me and me loving God.
it, I believe it, yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it.
God by singing and dancing like we've just done there or whether you worship God by serving him perhaps by doing things that help other people whether you worship God by loving the people that he's put around you maybe you worship God by staying quiet and sitting closely with him whatever way you worship you are worshiping a true and a living God. He is not made out of stone. He is not um, just made up in your imagination. He is a true and living God and he is powerful. So we're going to head on into our memory verse challenge to remind us of some of these further truths about God. Hello and welcome 
welcome back to the Memory Verse Challenge. Now this week, Claire's been talking to you about how we worship a living God. And our memory verse on here reminds us that we don't just worship a living God, but he's powerful and he loves us. Now, my first clue for you, it's one we've done before, is where we find it in the Bible. John chapter 3, verse 16. Can any of you remember a memory verse we've done that we find in John chapter 3, verse 16? Shall I peel away some of the paper? Let's have a look. It says, only son, we've got half a word, believes. Let's go for this one. So loved that he... in him have hmm have any of you figured it out should we have a look it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not die but have eternal life do you remember it? Let's go through it one more time to remind ourselves. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not die but have eternal life. Have fun practicing at home. Bye. Right here, now I need you all to jump up. Get onto your feet. Is everybody up? Anyone who's not standing, you've got another five, four, three, two, one, and up you come. Awesome. So now we are going to do some chatting and catching we've got in a slightly different way. Up on our feet, we're going to put our hands out. Now you can choose to put them out just close to you. Or you might go right out or all the way up towards the ceiling. Whatever you like. And just be expectant, that means ready to catch from God. So with our hands out, say, Holy Spirit, will you come now into each of our rooms, everywhere where we are, and will you show to us that our God is a living God, a true God, the only God, that he is worthy of our praise, and worthy of all that we are. Now let's be ready to catch from God. God, show me that you are a real, true and living God. And you might catch with a picture in your mind, with a word that you remember, something in the Bible. You might feel God close to you, an emotion or knowing your knower that our God is the one true and living God. Now let's get um, ready to thank God that he is real and he is true. Thank you God for being a true and living and awesome God. You can clap with me too if you like. That's often how we say thank you, isn't it? And get ready to catch from God throughout this week. He is ready to show you that he is near and that he is true and that he is a living God. So that's Planet Kids TV finished for today. It's been really great having all of you guys with me. Now I would encourage you this week to just take a few moments, maybe just before you go to sleep, to say, God, can you show me that you are a true and a living God? Can you show me that you're the one who has the power to save? You're the one who has the power to heal. And let me tell you, God wants to draw near to you because he loves you and his whole desire is to be in a relationship, friends, with you. So have a great week. 
I look forward to catching up with you again next week. Bye.